Welcome to Wolf Farms. <laughs> We're starting. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm Dawn, also known as Knit and Wolf. And I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. Um, we're in the month of February, so we actually have a new scent of the month uh, for you. And for the month of February, we have fresh cut roses. So you get 25% off. Uh, anything on our shop that is scented or otherwise with the Fresh Cut Roses fragrance. So that's our soaps, lotions, bath salts, uh, you know, the works. Candles. Candles, all the good stuff. So you can uh, use it for Valentine's gifts or to treat yourself or whatever. I'm sure you enjoy it. We have other sale thing, items in the shop and you can uh, check that out on in our shop online. So we want to welcome uh, new and returning viewers. Thanks for joining us today. So what do we got on tap? This week segments include, <clears throat> I need to find a voice, <clears throat> farm happenings, in the coop, flown the coop, to market, squeal like a pig, in the arena, and roundup. Mm. I know it's <laughs> So I guess we get the show on the road, huh? In the uh, farm happenings. In the farm happenings. In the farm happenings. <laughs> well, I've been, uh, you know, I just was mentioning a couple podcasts ago. Was it been one or two? That working Three. on the, yeah, it's been a while. Kind of died and then, you know. Yeah, I've been working on my uh, RX Terra. Basically, I had a blown head gasket on it. So I basically, right now, I'm to the point, I have every all the top end removed from the engine so I got all, all those parts off and uh, it's now ready to start going back together so I, I've kind of had to battle with the, uh, the mother nature here because it's been windy and we get really bad sand blowing and I don't want to assemble it with the sand blowing so I, I have to see how the afternoon goes today to see if I can start putting things back together or not because I keep everything um, uh, basically covered up until the, the wind dies down and then I can start working on it. So uh, if, if I get an opportunity and the weather agrees with me, I'll actually be working on it to hopefully start getting it back together and running. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's all part of the fun. <laughs> but it, it is coming along. Like I said, it's, it just it takes time. So uh, I have to put some pictures up and show kind of what it looks like when you take that engine apart <laughs> just for you you guys uh, probably could care less but that's that's what I'm working on so yeah and I've been I got homeschool paperwork because the end of month and then I've been dissecting our plants because <laughs> I have a lot of mother <clears throat> mother-in-law plants mm -hmm. they're also called the snake plants and I'm just getting over yeah, that and spider plants because our bathroom is done very. You got a lot of I plants. I got a lot of plants <laughs> spread throughout, and yeah. Uh, so I've been chopping and yeah, basically. And <laughs> well, because I, I know you had uh, one of the plants where you know just basically just a long string of. Yeah, um, I can't think of the name. Of yeah, it. but <clears throat> I've but, had it since I was sixteen. So yeah, but that that plant, if if like it, never it just fooled. it just goes yeah one one string goes bad the whole thing goes zoop, and it turns brown it doesn't look too good so i know you were starting with that and the the mother-in-law plants because those yeah that start, grows like a weed yeah so i know you've been uh <clears throat> basically trying to straighten up our our plant life yeah. at least inside <laughs> <laughs> yeah soon it will be the outside ones yeah so it's it looks nice. It looks cleaner now. It yeah. kind of surprised me because we had the like plants all growing. You know, we had it. Well, I have like, one in our bedroom that was out of my grandfather's funeral arrangement plant, and it was this big. Now it's it's a tree. Nine feet. Yeah, it's a tree. It's it a is tree. just like it's huge. <laughs> the thing just keeps growing, and uh, it, it basically covers a large wall. Yeah. And yeah, so it's a nice looking plant. Yeah. It, it's a slow growing one, but it's pretty tough. And it's been, like I say, you started it with a little starter yeah. thing, and it's now this huge, huge plant. And then, uh, oh, cat's been trying to <laughs> get up on my lap here. Uh, and then we, I bought you another one um, mm -hmm. not too long ago, too. So that's that took it, the place of the one that was in the bathroom. We moved this one out, put it in a big pot, and it just keeps growing and growing. Yeah, just, so. 
It's, ha- it's a happy plant. <laughs> <laughs> this year I actually put twinkle lights on it, too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, That's about the it. plants are happy plants. And, uh, oh, I guess you already talked about your homeschool stuff, huh? Yeah. We could do all that, submit that in, your monthly stuff. Yeah. You always have fun doing that, don't you? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and it's semester time, too, so. Yeah, it's the big, the big report. Yeah. yeah. You, you enjoy it. <laughs> Wake up. I Wake know, up. Trying. Someone's dragging today, so I'm I'm here for the humor. <laughs> you know, I gotta entertain and <laughs> keep me woke keep up. you yeah keep you awake. So in the coop, I this is my scrappy happy blanket, and uh, I did two, four, six. I did seven, but I have one was at another end. Oh, and I don't it's know it's buried. It's buried. Hmm. So I'll just show the six. And know that there's a seven somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and the, I think these, oh, a couple of them are bee wings. These three. One, two, three. And then I started in where Sock Bunny sent me a big bag. So this is one she did in a crock pot and a fiber nymph and three U's twisted in fiber, which I love this one, <laughs> which I know they don't die anymore, but, you know, pink and green. I know. Imagine that. Yeah. So, that's fun. That's my morning, get my hands yeah, going. Warm, warm it up, huh? Warm it up. <laughs> and then I have my Good Dale. I guess I could show a picture of the pattern. Maybe. <laughs> Good Dale by Cicely Glowick McDonald. And this is done with North Valley or Northampton Sport Valley Yarns in the eggplant colorway. Purple. Yep. With trouble hair. This is like a magnet for trouble hair. Yeah, it's dark. And Fuji so it's, hair, yeah, yeah, it shows. Where's White my... cat and dark yarn don't blend well together. I know, I have a dicky do on here. It's over there. Oh. So, yeah, I did. Quite a bit? Yeah. Moving right along. So, yeah. And they're still on this needle. I was going to switch the needles, but I thought, I, I'm scared it's going to change the gauge. So I figured oh. uh, I just need to at least Feel do the body it. in the same because, yeah, I guess I could just measure it with your uh, caliber, but size six. Hi, uh, Those these are, are not high eyes. Signatures. <laughs> signatures. Yeah. Signature sharps. Yep. Which mm. they just get so hung on the yeah. joints. I'm just. Is it because the uh, the cable is really limp. flexible? A limp cable. A limp cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah. when you when it gets to the when I need more stitches, it, it stops it hangs. and hums. It, yeah. So you get like a ninety degree angle instead mm-hmm. of like a. Smooth... And I can see how people bust these all the time. Yeah. 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 Hiya, hiya. Yeah, sharp. Good stuff. So then, I just started this morning. My sun daisy bag. I love this bag. Well, it's bird leg bags, but sun daisy got it for me. This is vintage deep Rocco vintage DK in the Douglas fur colorway, and uh, look how pretty. Mm, foresty. Yeah. And this yarn, this is the first time I've used this yarn, is so soft. I, I want a sweater out of it now, <laughs> even though I've only knitted a little bit. And this is done on size 6, too, Haya Hayas. And this is The Piper's Journey by Paula Emons Feasley. And this is for our knit along for February, March. We're having a designer along, and it's any of Paula. Knitting Pipeline, Paula Prairie Piper, <laughs> whatever name you want to call her. her uh, any of her patterns. Any of her patterns, thank you. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's donating two skeins of Quince & Co., some patterns. We're going to donate a, you know, one of her patterns. or mm-hmm. Depends how many people participate, you know, yeah. what you know, we'll add to the prizes. So I started this this morning since it's the 1st of February. 
And this is my caterpillar. It's the start of February. It's the start of February. Second. Did I say the first? Yeah. <laughs> First spark of February. <laughs> okay. That's what I was meaning, not okay. the first. I knew it's not the first. Okay. Because when they're watching, it's going to be the third or after. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, it's, it's not the first, it's the first week You missed February. a day. It's Super Bowl day. <laughs> yeah, we, we forgot yeah, to Yeah, we were going to put our, our... Black. Yeah, put our helmets on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit started. I know uh, Mad79, she's almost got it done. Well, it's flying right along. <laughs> She has a lot done. Yeah. So those ambitious knitters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. so what else you got? I I you know I a couple weeks ago I started a sock. I just haven't. You haven't really, had time. I've been. It's been a crazy couple weeks. My <laughs> my free time's been taken up by Xterra and other other projects. So and work. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I I've got nothing to show at this point in time. I still got. My the tip of my toes would be happy right now, but nothing, no, no other part of my foot. Well, we I also did the puzzle, the mm -hmm. barnyard strip puzzle this week. So, yeah. Oh, that's a finished object. That's that's We're in the, the flow. Wrong yeah. <laughs> Move on to flown the coop. If, but I started uh, the other one. Yeah, we, got we've got another one of the hard ones. Yeah. I told her that she did that one too quickly. The one that she actually finished the barnyard strip. I said, we got to go back to the ones that are those little, that we keep complaining about. <laughs> and we, a good challenge. <laughs> and then uh, when I was by the store, uh, I was, there was, they had a display of puzzles. And they had one that was, it was like all like weeds in a river. And I'm like, oh, this whole thing is like, <laughs> how are you going to match that up? Because it's all the same color, all the same pattern. I mean, across the board, you know, a little bit is okay. The whole thing, I thought that would be mm. crazy. It would be like taking a picture of someone's hair and doing a puzzle out of that. I mean, imagine that. Because <laughs> it's all the same. It's like uh, you, you really have a challenge there. Especially, I, I don't know, this is a different uh, puzzle manufacturer than the one that we complained that all the pieces could fit yeah. to, in different spots. So I have no clue how that would show up, but... I was looking at that. I'm like, oh, you want to challenge this? This one will make you pull out your hair. <laughs> <laughs> What's with you and hair? I don't know. That's... Oh, take a picture. So I got my haircut. Yeah. Oh, Farm happening. Yeah, I got my haircut. Feel lighter. Ah. <laughs> so flown the coop. <clears throat> flown the coop. Well, I just mentioned the puzzle. Yep, we got the uh, barnyard strut yeah. strutting right that off. That thing is uh, huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Three foot by two foot. Yeah. It's a big chicken. <laughs> I'm not going to glue that together. Did you find the chickens that are hidden in the puzzle? Did you even No, look? I never went back. Because there's like 11 or 13, 14, 14 uh, hidden, hidden chicks. chickens in the pattern. Yeah. That, uh, no, I, I saw them as I'm putting them together, but oh, I didn't okay. go you back didn't count and count. Them? No. Yeah. Probably missing one. Little chicks. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished what I'm wearing. And this is the Midnight Garden Cowl by Lauren McMorty. And she just has had a new pattern released yesterday called Kiss Kiss Lace Lace Socks. So those are really cool. Mm -hmm. And so I will show you, because I did a lot on this. Yeah, you knocked that out pretty quick. I know you're enjoying I did like, the yarn and yeah, all. Yeah, I did like six inches. I used up all, well, here, let me, did I show that good? Okay. I used up all but just a wee bit, because I always keep a wee bit in case it gets a hole or something, mm. so I can patch it up. This is 716 Boss. 225 yards in the wetting a what colorway and uh, it's got so many different little colors blitz, that's like yeah. all over the place so it's colorful cool yeah cool colorway and I made it I did her 144 stitch one I can't remember she calls that a medium but I blocked it on my uh, you're blocking I mats. put two of my mats together and make it circular mm -hmm. So you can wear it long ways, and it goes to my... Your belly button. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's past my belly well. button. But, or you can, you know, it's 
wrapper. And this is a DK weight too, so it's not even, I just cut myself. It's not even worsted like Lauren calls for. Hmm. And I use size six. This seemed very thick. Yeah, it, it seemed like a uh, worsted a size. Heavier. Yeah. So you can wear it doubled up or since it's, you know, the month of love and <laughs> Valentine's Day, you can snuggle with your sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> and keep both of you guys warm and yeah. just wrap them up. Or I guess you could strangle them. With them. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got it all jumbled. Yeah. Super fun pattern. You know, it's interesting. You put my your dick dicky do in the back. back. It's like a tag. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting, but yet it's, you know, you can talk or watch TV and super fun. Yeah. Now, I like that colorway because it's, it's yeah. such a blend. I, and of I was worried colors. when I first started it, I thought, mm, is it really going to show up the pattern? But once it's blocked, it really, you know, shows mm -hmm. it up. And it'll go with everything. It's like got every single color of the rainbow in here. So, pretty cool. Pretty much. Awesome. So. I like it. You like it? I like it. You like it. <laughs> so, to market. To market. Mm. I finally... Broke down. Broke down. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Kind of> cheap. <laughs> and because I always see crafty pancakes with the cutest Turvis cups. And I'm like, oh, oh. But then, and they can't, they're always emailing me. Mm. And so I, they emailed me this. And once I saw it, I'm like... Had to. Had to. Can't say no. It's Snoopy. Picking up the window. Snoopy with hearts. Which is supposed to be for Valentine's, but Snoopy and hearts is going to be year round. Isn't that cute? And it's, I love it. It's huge. I gotta, if I'm holding up here, I almost gotta do it two handed because it's so big. Hmm. I know they have all these additional handles and. Oh, accessorize oh, your yeah. Turvis cup? Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Mm. Makes it taste so much better, yes, it too. Does. <laughs> it's supposed to keep it cold or keep it hot, whatever mm -hmm. you have in it. And I like that it's dishwasher safe. <laughs> Throw that puppy in there and. That's it. Guaranteed for life. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Tervis.com. <laughs> <laughs> I know. She, Don's been talking about these forever. Yeah. I'm like, you know, but so she finally some broke bucks down. for a cup is like, are you serious? That's a skein of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. But now since I have it, I'm like, I need another one so I can wash this. <laughs> I've washed it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the dilemmas, huh? And then I went on over to Gnome Acres because I had watched her podcast and saw she was going to be having these. GnomeAcres.com. Here's all her info. And she was doing Valentine's Day mini skeins. And I'm like, ah, oh, Amanda, she got me. So here it is. And I don't, I haven't written down all the colors yes yet. But she even has a little basswood let me get it, heart mm, that cool. comes with it. So, yeah. It's like, oh, beautiful colors. So, I'll have to yeah. go on her site and write down the colorways. Pretty cool. So, yeah. More for your, uh, your blanket. blanket yeah. That'll be going in it this week. Because she had a package so nice and neat. And, yeah, and I, boy, does she get you... The yarn quick. I mean, it was like within a day or two days, mm. maybe. Yeah. I think she has little gnomes that fly <laughs> and just, it's in your mailbox. It's like, yeah. boom, Who do you like think magic. models on her tractor there? I you know. know. Uh -huh. gotta, gotta have a gnome friend to do that, right? Yeah, with all the magic <laughs> fairy dust. <laughs> so. hey, also known as postal service, huh? Just whoosh, yeah. right on over. So. Pretty. Pretty I think cool, that's it. I bought something else, but it still hasn't come. It's been oh, like yeah. 12 days and... And waiting. Yeah, it was for a knit along, but now you can't. it can be a little late. Yeah. So, so squeal like a pig this week. I was yeah. like totally shocked. Well, I wasn't shocked because she told me it was there was a package coming, but 
how big this box was. Trouble's been having a field day with this box. And oh, do I need to bring that back in? I put it. I just put oh, it out in the yeah, garage. Oh yeah, been. <laughs> even when I had the stuff in it, he was like, I have a picture on Instagram where he was getting yeah. ready to climb in. I don't know what it is about boxes and that cat. That well, cat. her cats had gotten in the box, oh, okay. so he's, he's smelling her cats. Yeah. Her is Sunday's 920 <laughs> Angie. Big old honking box. I'm like, because I, I saw it out there because the mailman just leaves it. And I'm like, hmm, that's not for me because it's awfully big. I thought it was it must more be car, car parts. parts. I'm like, eh. <laughs> so I got it. And this is our Christmas present to all of us. Mm -hmm. And a cute little card. Of course, it's got and a she, sheet. Yeah. And she asked, you had always wondered what your family looks like as cephalopods. <laughs> So here is the James cephalopod. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cute. She can like do the these hat. she can do these legs now in her sleep. Oh, what's those things where ooh. <laughs> 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 I had fruit chews right yeah. before we recorded. <laughs> Sugar's kicking in. So there's the James cephalopod. And the Dawn cephalopod. Look at these. <laughs> And then the Jimmy cephalopod. The mini me. Mini me. <laughs> <gasps> she is amazing to That's knit all awesome. these octopus legs. Mm -hmm. it's like you're crazy, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, she, she had to have gone through, let's see, each one of them's got eight, so that's 24, 24 legs. 24 legs. You wonder why she can do it in her sleep, huh? Yeah, and these are what she hasn't been, she has the Sun Daisy. Sunday's perfect podcast. Yeah, I got to say, got to get the accent in there. She hasn't been able to show them because she didn't want me seeing. Cause mm -hmm. She knows I watch, and so, yep, this is what she's been knitting on. Pretty awesome. And we I have a big. We didn't you call it a bench that wraps from the fireplace all along. It's like the of, hearth. It's it's a hearth, but it, it, yeah, yeah. That's what you you call can it. sit on it when you have company and stuff. So these are gonna go right there where I can see them. Yeah, and then. She had a whole bunch of stuff. Look at these stickers. Ah, they're all gnomes. See? Those are so cool. More gnome models. Yeah. <laughs> and the notepads with the magnets on the back. And we're oh, you always got the, using magnets. You got the magnets. Christmas tree upside down there, honey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she has been a knitting machine. Yeah. She made... Kitty <clears throat> treat toys for toys. the for the other oh, here kids. Here comes yeah. too. Trouble's coming. You he heard the bag crinkle. That Treats cat. for the dogs. She called them junk food for the dogs. Then she had pet blankets to donate. So here's one. Mm -hmm. oh, that's heavy. Isn't that heavy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two. Nice snuggly. Uh, that's so soft. These are really soft too. A couple of weeks we need to take all of these because we have a, a, we a mountain. stacked mountain. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so. I hadn't opened it all the way up. It's a big one. Yeah. It's all heavy, heavy. Uh, yarn. She's had to get some muscles on these because yeah, they're really. She's got to be tired. So thank you so much, yeah. Andrea. Thank you. So those are awesome. awesome. Wait, what do you think? Totally you and me. <laughs> Just gotta grow my mustache back. Huh? No. <laughs> no. It's been a long, long time. It took me a long, long time to get that off of you. Yeah. I don't even know. No, it's been you... years, years. Wasn't that long. It's been a long time. Oh. Mm -hmm. You don't, don't like, like the... hair. No. She says I look younger this yes, way. Yes, you so. do. Seeing that I'm becoming an old fart, I better <laughs> do what I can to stay young. <laughs> you get more smooching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> so where are we? See, I'm... I already did in the arena the designer along. Mm -hmm. got so that. roundup. We got some uh, prices, don't we? It's in the roundup. Yeah. Roundup prices. So our January hatching it came to an end, a close, mm -hmm. finish. All done. What am I looking for? I don't know. Mm. The price, the I know. The, I guess the names. I guess I yeah. don't know. So I. This is for 
uh, Wolf Farm <laughs> words. Wolf Farm gift certificate. Yeah, for, for ten dollars. The... Mm-hmm. And the first winner is number two two nine, which is Stacy Knits, and that's Stacy, and she did a hand spun hitchhiker. Wow, that's gorgeous, and it's in a gradient like rainbow. Oh, okay. Really pretty. You guys need to go look at it. And then the next number was 207. It was all in the 200s. Hmm. I'm like, wow. And that is Summer Yarns. And that's Summer. <laughs> <laughs> she has the Kitchen Stitches podcast. Oh. But don't, watch, don't listen to it if you're hungry. Because <laughs> it will make you hungry. And I can't wait for her next episode because she just had a birthday. Happy birthday. So I'm sure she'll be going over all the yummy yeah. cake that she had and special dinner and treats. and Make mm. your stomach growl, huh? Yeah, and she did the vitamin D. She oh. finally got that off the needles. And so. Excellent. So, woohoo! Congra- yeah, congratulations. So I will, this will automatically ear burn you. So, yeah, so. It, it's easier that way because then you're immediately contacted. and Yeah, but you, you contact us so that we can get your email address yeah. so we can send you off the uh, gift, gift certificate, certificate for you. And yep. I'm sure you'll find something you enjoy. Yep. So I wanted to mention the Yarnivore. Yarnivore. <laughs> Yarnivore podcast. Yarn, it's Yarnivore. I, it just keeps coming out. Yarnivore. 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 Yeah. For pet blankets. So uh, she's having the snuggle along for January, February. So you got a whole 28 days to knit more because she's got tons and tons of prizes. So mm. enter them in her group and awesome. you can choose a podcast. <clears throat> One of the ones that wink, are Wink Wink Farms <laughs> podcast. And, uh, you know, we're accepted. You know, you can donate them to your local shelter. You can send them to us. We can take them down to the hospital or... Yeah. Or the vet, you know, we got two places, and so anywhere where there's animals that would yeah. like a, a snuggle to snuggle with. Yep, I know all of ours love them. Our cats fight over. They're fighting over those red ones I just finished in <laughs> December. It's like the other if one well, you, is on it, the other one will sit and meow. Well, you have the red that red big one, and that, that one, was for me. Yeah, and that one that one was you know it's for us, but. The cat. They've taken over. And then you did a little one because they kept jumping on that. And now the two, they fight over which one gets the, the which one. So yeah. it's funny because uh, they're, they're just <laughs> honoring. Funny. And then Fuji got into the mix because she got under, she started bur- burrowing in under, under one. one. And then yeah. so the cat just sits and stares at her. Yeah. Trying to <laughs> coax her out so he could have his blanket back. But uh, yep. that's funny. So, buttons. Buttons? Oh, is it that time already? We're in Roundup, babe. Flying on by. All right. Well, I just wanted to uh, mention that we still have the Fuji Fight Like a Girl buttons available in the shop. That you can uh, get one there. And that we also have Wolf Farm Video Podcast buttons. You can get one of these for free with any paid order at wolffarms.net. Just when you're checking out, um, put in the comment section that you'd like a video podcast button and we'll be happy to stick one in your package as we're shipping that along to you. You can decorate your knitting bag or your button monster or anything you like. And, uh, have our nice scenic little wolf farm picture there. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's about it. Yep. Ah, so... Oh, That's it, your part. I forgot the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget the chicken. <laughs> so until next time. Let's get cracking. And hash it. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.